How far would you go for TikTok views? Would you sell your soul? Slap your mother? Slap my mother? You better not. I'd come over there and bite your dick off. But what about going to jail for three years? Does that sound reasonable for TikTok views in exchange for that prison sentence? How bad do you want it? What's your limit? Would you throw away three years of your life just for a few TikTok likes? If your answer to that question is no, you're a pussy, you're a coward, and you will never make it as a viral TikTok superstar sensation like this guy and his friends. I'm kind of underselling the story. Not only did the main guy in this video get three years, but his two friends that helped him make it got two years in prison. So check this out. What an epic prank, am I right? That shit was too lit. I almost spit out my apple juice. They got him good. Those fucking idiots never even saw it coming. The stupid conductor of this train, multi-track drifting around, thinking he's gonna get his passengers to their destination on time. Nuh uh. Not on this cool guy's watch. He busts out the desk, he pops in a cigarette to smoke. I mean, he's probably the coolest fucking guy I've ever seen in my life. He's got the desk out so that way he can have optimal angles to look at the Tinder profile pics of girls that don't meet his standards. He's definitely a kissless virgin by choice because no girl is worthy of his perfect lips because he's just the ultimate Adonis. So he's decided, let's smoke it up a little bit. The train, it doesn't matter. So he stops it. He says, hey, public transportation can suck on my fucking asshole. And that's exactly what they do. And now he'll be sucking on some buttholes in prison. This happened in Morocco. He was originally facing five to ten years in jail, but that sentence was lightened to three years, and his two friends that helped him film this have two years in jail now. And I gotta say, it was worth it. This is the coolest video I've ever seen in my life. I'm sure that all the other inmates are gonna be blown away by this dude's TikTok clout. They won't be able to get enough of his stories about this video going viral. Oh man, they're gonna love that. Now obviously the main douchebag here is extremely pathetic, but I think the saddest people in this video are the one filming and the one that give him the coffee cup. These two goofy goobers got two years in jail and got none of the internet points for it. They didn't even have their names associated with this. They were faceless nobodies who got roped into this guy's awful, dumb fucking TikTok video and are now going to jail for two years for it with none of the minor celebrity status attached to it. They got nothing. They're going to jail because they couldn't tell their friend that the idea was fucking stupid. These two guys are absolutely your classic yes men, too afraid to say no to anything and then let you make the worst fucking decisions. It just, you don't want friends like this that always say yes. But these guys go the extra mile and not only say yes, but encourage the awful decision and actively participate in it. Just out of pure desperation for just the tiniest bit of internet clout. They just want to latch on to the nipples of the pseudo-internet celebrity and get breastfed a little bit. Just suckle on the titties and just a little bit of internet clout, which they didn't get. But they did get a nice prison sentence for it. Now, not to sound like your grandpa complaining about loud music, but TikTok is truly poisoning the minds of some young people. Like, this shit is crazy. Everyone thinks they're the protagonist of their own anime. Everyone has this main character energy about them where they are the center of the universe. And this is just the perfect example of it. I couldn't be happier that this douchebag and his friends are actually going to prison for this. They are just attention-seeking public nuisances, an actual hemorrhoid to society. Not to go full joker on you, but yeah, TikTok is absolutely poisoning some people on there. It's taking us backwards down the evolutionary ladder. hundred years from now, I probably have to rediscover fire and relearn basic language, because all humans will know is stupid fucking TikTok dances and shit like that. But maybe it's bigger than that. Maybe TikTok is like this intergalactic plague. It's the reason we haven't been visited by aliens. It truly is like the great filter. So when a civilization becomes technologically advanced enough to reach like tier one or tier two, all roads lead to TikTok. So then they create TikTok, which bumps their civilization back down to the fucking stone ages so they can never visit us or expand past their planet. You know what I mean? It's like the flood from Halo, this parasite that feeds off us and keeps us stupid. To be honest, this just kind of looks like an elaborate suicide attempt that didn't work. It, like the thought process here, I'm going to sit in front of a train and hope that it stops in time. 
Like, the amount of faith you have to have in a complete stranger there is mind-boggling. Hoping that the conductor's paying enough attention to stop in time before he just fucking flattens you and sends you to the after afterlife, fucking banishing you to the Shadow Realm. Like, it's, it's crazy. And since everything becomes a trend on TikTok, and this was a very popular video, I'm shocked it didn't become a trend. I thought for sure this would be like the... Uh, hashtag stop a train trend where you like go on the tracks and you throw your ass in a circle clapping your cheeks to some pop song and hope that the train stops and then people just getting blasted by trains going all over the news I, I'm actually surprised that, that didn't happen now granted this train isn't exactly like Thomas the tank engine gone wild it seems to be moving at a slower pace than most trains I see but it is still an extremely dangerous stunt and an extremely annoying one Everyone on that train is now late to their shit just so you could have your 10 second TikTok video. So yeah, I definitely think the punishment fits the crime here. Three years sounds reasonable, two years for his friends. I'm glad all the douchebags got thrown into the slammer. Huge round of applause to that decision made over there. And yeah, that's about it. So yeah.